going on? This is YouTube, you know, this is live. Okay, look at this. Ready? 2020 High Country, 2020 Custom. Now, this is the difference I was trying to show you guys. Because, like, you get this. Look at, oh, this is probably just a 6 6, six gasser. This has got the Duramax. You guys can see right there. House transmission's 10 speed. They put them in the bushes. I feel bad. But, dude, look at, look at this. Paint match channels, chrome handles, all chrome, all 2500s. This one's got a pretty nice interior. Oh, my flash is on. Uh, this has got... Doesn't have the big center console or anything. Um, but yeah, this is pretty cool. Got the High Country Allison transmission with the Duramax. <laughs> oh, this has got the fully loaded interior, full leather center console with the charger, with the wireless charger down there. The back, dude, this is cool because this is all black. No matter what, I think it's yeah, it's either gonna be plastic or or. Um, black paint but dude this is pretty sweet this one these have been sitting back here for a while then you got another one over there i don't know which one that is i'm not really sure might be a custom but this one's fully this one's fully loaded it's got the gooseneck or no, sorry yeah the gooseneck prep package in it. it's got bed lighting it's got full bed liner the camera system rear sliding window keyless entry it's got the good mirrors with chrome caps clear lenses obviously but like i said fully loaded leather interior got the i forget what style steps these are but these steps got the bigger wheels and tires which are pretty sweet luckily one thing i like about chevy they don't have those stupid uh side markers and the fender flares like the gmc's do that's the only thing i don't like but like i said high country duramax look at this front end this is pretty sweet and then you get the custom over here with like it's a pretty okay front end or no it, this isn't a custom this is a lt this is a custom right here dude look at the, the, the wheels on the custom you got the black the black middle the chrome or machined out um whatever those are called outside got these just base steps though still got the decent mirrors um so for the custom you have a key like you still have an actual key you don't have push button start but it's all paint matched, I think. I could be wrong. No. Yeah, it's the custom, so it's all paint matched, which is sweet. I really like this, though, honestly. If the di different wheels. This one is probably just an LTZ. An LT or an LTZ. But it's got paint matched uh, door handles. This one doesn't have keyless entry because, like I said, it's a custom. It's got the smaller screen. This one is push button start. Okay, so this one. It's push button start, keyless entry, OnStar, built in 4G LTE, Wi Fi, all that fun stuff. But dude, look how there's so many 2020s or 2019 1500s. They got a new new body style Camaro over there. Like all these trail bosses, the cust they're all custom trail bosses. All the, all of those. Not not that one, but that one, that one, that one, that one. All those. But here's your difference in the front ends. This is what I finally wanted to show you guys. But, like, I've never had the chance to have them both side by side before. So, uh, this is pretty sweet. I gotta back way up to get an actual picture of all of them, though. But there you guys can tell. They look like two different trucks, honestly. So, that's pretty sweet. That is... That's, uh... Yeah, so I definitely gotta get to a dealership and get a ride-along going in one of these. But, dude, look, there's just so many trucks. Wow. Alderman Chevy GMC, Buick GMC. It's crazy. Let's go look at this Camaro. Okay, I don't know. It's an SS. It's got the black front end. The airplane up there. Um, got the dual colored interior. It is, is it an automatic or is it a manual? I can't tell. I think it's a auto. Is it? Yeah, I believe it's auto. But it doesn't have like the gears on the, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's auto, but it's a convertible. But uh, the new taillights, which I've never seen in person, those are pretty cool. It's got a backup camera right on the wing back there. This is pretty, pretty legit. I'm, I'm a fan. So uh, definitely, if you guys are in the market for a 2020 HD, Alderman's has four or five of them, I think. There's a other, there's a custom out front too, by the body shop entrance, which is uh blue which is a really cool i love that color blue i've never seen it in person this is a uh, equinox premiere look at that suburban over there needing body work Whew, that's rough 
but they have so there's so much inventory here but i'm gonna get going and i'll see you guys in a little bit but this is a pretty cool way to start the video what's going on guys welcome back to the channel you guys are watching diesel dude 71 if you guys are new to the channel my name is jackson if you guys are also new and you like the content go down and subscribe hit that notification bell as well uh yeah so basically we're gonna be talking about some plans for like what's going on i don't know if this is gonna be i'm not really sure if this is gonna be a garage update or like talking about one vehicle in specific in specific in particular i don't know anyways but right in front of me we have my nice cub cadet of one mower <laughs> if you guys aren't new you know that i do a lot of small engine stuff like i have a dirt bike I have a four wheeler and we got a lawnmower so basically it is a cub cadet xt1 so it's the enduro series uh it's got a 42 inch deck and it's pretty new. It's like, I think it's 2017 or 2018. It has, let's check the hours on it here for you guys. You know, I'm just going to be, oh, so nice. Mm. All right, let's see, 68 hours on it. And I just did an oil change at 60 hours, I believe. I think we did one at, yeah, 60. And so it's getting, it's getting there. But it needs some work right now because, yeah, it, it just, it just needs some work. So basically, the front end right now, here, I'll, I'll just show you guys. You guys can see that uh, that tire's flat, that one's flat, and it's just, it's having a rough time. So basically, it needs two new front tires. Yeah, two new front tires. I need to figure out how to get this wheel so it's not, because if you guys look from right here, if that one's straight, that one's not, but like, oh, hang on, let's make the wheel. The wheel straight okay yeah well it also has a little bit of play in it but yeah that's uh that's not supposed to be like that so we definitely gotta gotta get two new front tires get that wheel to come back in and that'll be good i think the deck needs adjustment oh yeah i think that might need adjustment because i mean the tires are also low that's why it's so lower here but yeah but you guys can see it's got these like I don't even know, what do you call those, like, buttermilk <laughs> colored wheels? I don't know, colored rims, I should say. And then, under the hood here, I don't know if it's going to be dirty or not. We, we do have the air box cover off, which I do need to put back on. We also can see, I don't know, actually, can you see from right here? Okay, you can see right there. We got the uh, good old exhaust, like the downpipe, basically. That's what that would be, I guess, right? That would be, like, a downpipe to the big, like, muffler box thing. I don't know, it's pretty. Yeah, it's... It's all there, and it's all like this. It's just metal. I mean, it's probably obviously coated. Well, maybe coated, but it's metal. And it's like silver, and it, I don't know. Like, if we're ever running this thing without a hood or something, like you guys can see right there, though. Like, right, right there, y'all, you just, like, there's that black cover on it, but then you see that silver, and it kind of just sticks out. So, <laughs> here's my ideas for what we're going to do with the lawnmower. It's gonna get some uh, some stuff done to it pretty soon. It's gonna get. Oh, I also got a. This got all bent up. So I'm gonna have to bend that back, and it's pretty rusted right there, like in that area. So I'm gonna clean it up and paint it. And you also guys, you guys can see like the the diff and everything, and the axle, like all that housing. That's all silver metal. I think we should change that. So I think what we're gonna do, not gonna lie, is um, oh, this is this is gonna sound really bad, but I got I got an idea. <laughs> we're gonna give the uh, <laughs> the Craftsman mower a blackout package. Basically, is what it is in reality. So it's gonna be so we're gonna like all that chrome, like the exhaust and all that. We're gonna get some high heat paint, some high heat. I don't really care what finish, if it's gloss, semi gloss, whatever. Uh, and we're going to paint it black, and then we're going to get, I'm not really sure what for the wheels yet, probably gloss black, and we're going to paint the wheels gloss black, and probably it will be the same for the um, axle and stuff as well, so, <laughs> yeah, this is going to be uh, fun, it's going to be a fun project, it's going to turn out good, I cannot wait to show you guys the final product once this thing gets its new look. It's gonna be uh it's gonna be fun that's for sure I, I don't know 
it just it needs some love right now. It's having a rough time, but it yeah. Once we get the tires too, I don't know. We might we could switch up the tire setup too, like not right now, but like next season, because it has you know like just regular turf tires. We can throw some chunkier tires on the back and the front. Throw some chunkier tires on, you know. I don't know, but hopefully in the next week or two, we should be getting that project. On the show. I know I talked about it a little while ago, but some stuff, just working out the details on it, it's kind of hard right now. But it should be coming soon, definitely before the snow hits the ground and stuff, because we got to get out of where it is. Because once the snow hits and stuff, it's going to be, like, impossible. So, hopefully, I'm really hoping for this weekend, but we got a lot of other stuff going on. i got to talk about the 96 Chevy, too. Ooh, the 96 is down again. Well, kind of, but... That's a story for another video, I guess. But, um, yeah, the mower's doing all right here. So that's good. Actually, I don't know. Are you guys going to see? I don't know what video you're going to see first. Because, like, if I wait and include like, the final product and everything in this video, then you're not going to see this. But I have a video. I got to post a video Friday. So I don't know what you're going to see. Uh, I don't know right now. But you guys will know because you're going to be the ones seeing it. So. Hell yeah, this thing's gonna need some work and it's gonna need some blacked out to happen, but I think it's gonna be pretty cool. I'm really, really looking forward to getting this thing looking just just a little bit better than it is right now. But uh, it's like 11, what time is it? It's 11 oh eight at night. Yeah, so it's the latest I was up. This has been the latest I've been up since Saturday night, so... Yeah, Saturday night I was up to like 3 a.m., but I was at my dad's and stuff anyway, so it's fine. But, yeah, I'll see you guys probably tomorrow or whenever, I don't know, whenever we get um, whenever we get the stuff to do this, because I think I'll just include it all in one video, but, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow, because hopefully we're going to go get the uh, supplies. But, peace out, guys, see you in the morning. Whenever I don't I don't know. See you guys tomorrow. So uh, what's going on, guys? Um, I can't really show all that much right now, but uh, yeah. It, um, oh oh, can't see that. Okay. So basically, here let's actually let's just turn my camera around because I'm gonna spoil this whole thing. Hey guys, what's going on? Um, new day. Actually, it's nighttime. It's like the same time as like when I was filming yesterday, but actually it's a little bit earlier. But I uh, I did some work on the Cub Cadet mower. And, uh, yeah, it's looking, it's looking pretty good, not gonna lie. Now, it, it could have been better if I hadn't just rushed it, but let's, uh, let's show you guys what, um, what I did. So, basically, I, uh, I cleaned up right here where it was rusted, and I painted all that, and I painted all of this whole panel, and I painted on the sides of it on each side, and, uh, you guys can see underneath there, I don't know if you guys even see anything but I painted the whole like diff and everything. I painted all that black. Um then over here to the wheels. I painted the wheels black. I did overspray on the tires but hopefully we're gonna do new tires in the springtime because the front needs to because these are already flat like I literally filled them up a couple hours ago but yep black wheels in the front uh coming over here I repainted this well part of it anyways and I kinda oversprayed but I can get that off. So we're gonna have to deal with that. And I could have just taken that whole thing off and painted it, but it's not really a big deal. And then, here, we actually might have to take the hood off. Hang on, guys. It was just easier if I took the hood off to show you guys. I painted right here, painted up on those, not all the way, but some of the way. Um, other side, painted part of the leaf right here, painted some of the frame up. Uh, painted on the frame over here. I painted most of the valve cover. I did miss a little bit, but I, I'll probably go back through. Like, this is already looking really good, so I got to... Finish up right there. I painted the exhaust, but like, oh look, yeah, it just it just comes off. Okay, uh, so it burnt, <laughs> it burnt the paint off. So I'll actually like actually repaint that. But this plate, yeah, it kind of it kind of ran, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, I just painted some stuff. Just painted black, you know. This looks pretty good, I think. I don't know. It could have been better. I definitely was rushing it because I was trying to beat, um, beat. The sun setting because I was limited on daylight and whatnot, so that's always fun. You gotta 
gotta love Mother Nature and uh, daylight savings time and all that stuff. But here we'll plug. Let's plug. This light. Actually, let's plug the lights back in because yeah, the stupid thing right here. I think that we should put a light bar on this thing <laughs> because it has a really like the lights on this thing really suck. Not even gonna lie. Like even when it's barely getting dark, it's you you can't see anything. Okay, I really can't plug that in, so I'm just gonna, yeah. Alright, I got it plugged in, so I'll show you guys the lights right now. It's like, like, they're okay, but they really could be better. So, I think a light bar somewhere, but this, like, this whole, this is all messed up. Like, right, oh, and there's all cracked and stuff. But if we could put in a light bar on that, that'd be pretty cool. If I could find out a way to do it, I would. But I don't really know, just some sort of lighting upgrade, because... It's pretty rough right now. It the lights really are not the greatest. Like even if you're trying to do like like just a little bit after dark, like you're not gonna be able to see anything. So but what do you guys think? I uh I blacked out the wheels, I blacked out the hitch, I mean it looked better. I didn't paint I just thought about this. I didn't paint the brake lever though, but I still got some stuff to do. But I guess I'm not gonna post this video on Friday night. I don't know when I'm gonna post it then, but the wheels and some other small stuff but I do have to do a little bit more so once it's done done I'll have it outside and I'll actually show you guys everything so that's probably gonna do it for tonight though as you guys are gonna have to stay tuned for part two well not part two but like the next part of um, giving the mower new looks we got I mean it's basically almost done now I mean kind of sort of like it's getting there so, um, that's part one. We got the wheels blacked out. We got, um, the wheels blacked out, like the diff and the hitch and everything painted up and some other stuff, like some other little touches that you guys know, but there is more coming soon. So stay tuned for another video. I know I'm just totally randomly ending this out, but stay tuned for next video because <laughs> the 96 is getting some work. Actually, it's already gotten some work. So we've done a new lighting mod that I think you guys are going to like. And then tomorrow we're doing two other mods. One's going to be inside the truck and the other one's going to be outside. And it's going to be performance. So stay tuned for that, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. If you guys enjoyed this one, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Um, sorry if this, if this video has just been all over the place. I've just been so busy lately. Not had a lot of time to film. But tomorrow I'm going to film... We're also probably going to get the Honda back and going, back up and running. We're putting on a new carburetor, and uh, yeah, I'm doing some other stuff behind the scenes with that, but you guys will see it, and uh, maybe, I know tomorrow's going to be a busy day, so look forward to the content, but we might also be getting a new project tomorrow. I'm not really sure yet, it just depends on our time frame or your time, but I will see you guys in the next video. You guys are definitely not going to want to miss the next few videos, so make sure you subscribe, turn post notifications, and uh, yeah, without further ado, I guess we'll pull it up. like carousel, known to raise hell, like I'm Tyrion and Chainmail, give me head tail, see the jaw drop, face mouth, like a bass head, leave a scale, balance both sides, and she threw it well, so well, so well, yeah. Raymond, ducking from the sun, doing okay then, all these feelings bottled inside, like a house dog. Stick a little girl, bring fire from her world, I'm trying